last but not least, we have Terry's pick. New York Republican Representative Elise Stefanik dropped her support for the Fairness for All Act. This bill would, would write sexual orientation and gender identity into U.S. civil rights law. Terry, was this the right move on her part? Absolutely. And what I think is happening is the entire Republican Party is beginning to come into alignment with the pro-family movement. Uh, for years, uh, the, the LGBT movement was stacking up victory after victory against social conservatives, and we weren't really fighting back in politics. That's all changed. And I think what's happening is people like Lee Stefanik, who are rising up in leadership, are actually seeing the downsides of what LGBT legislation does. It puts boys in our daughter's sports. It puts boys in our daughter's restrooms. It takes away parental rights to be able to control the content of, of their children's education. And so I think Elise is essentially reading the room and she's seeing that the country's moving further to the right and that there's basically the pendulum sw shifted so, or swung so far to the, to the left with the gay marriage, it's now starting to come back. And we're starting to see, hey, maybe we shouldn't just jump freely off of that cliff and maybe we right. should be a little bit more hesitant before altering civil rights law. I think you're exactly right. It appears that Democrats just assumed Republicans would roll over and not fight back on anything ever. And then this last year, we've learned that Republicans actually will fight back and will step up. And uh, I think on some of the issues that you're talking about, where we never saw Republicans step up before, now we're starting to see Republicans say, hey, I wasn't going to do anything, but since you brought me here, <laughs> since you brought me to the table, let's talk about everything. Right. What do you think? Well, no, I, I, the interesting thing is, is that removing ourselves from politics was a deliberate choice that the pro-family movement made. They decided that they needed to focus instead on winning hearts and minds, on, on fighting in the culture. Where they miscalculated is that America is unique. Our culture is part of politics. Poli we were the first nation ever founded where we all have equality in politics. And when you act like politics is not part of the culture, you start to have really bad things. And we started investing in, in political campaigns, making these arguments and showing what this legislation would do. And politicians very quickly, I mean, this was this started just four years ago that we started running these campaigns. Politicians got on board very quickly because they could visualize, they, they could understand how these issues could be used to win their campaigns and their elections. And you think, just real fast, you think we'll see that continue on in 22? I think it's only going to get better for, here, for the family from here. Um, mm -hmm. It's just too real. The threats are even worse than they were when we first started talking about it. I mean, they're covering up, just to put in perspective, in Loudoun County, Virginia, they covered up a sexual assault so they could pass a transgender bathroom bill. Right. This is crazy. <laughs> That's awful. Terry, thank you for the topic.